Hey everybody out in Chamberland. Um, I am here with Pasquale Villano who has like literally just opened Papa Do's right here at 845 Jones Hill in West Haven. Was here for a ribbon cutting yesterday and he put out some food. Fantastic. Thank um, you. What was the one I had? It had balsamic vinaigrette and roasted That's the Carmelo. The Carmelo. Yeah, I will come back for that again. Awesome. Um, and yeah, I, I generally try not to eat pizza because I'm watching this, but every once in a while it's worth it. Exactly. So, so what made you get into the pizza business or how long have you been in? Um, my family's been in the restaurant business for over 40 years. You okay. know, I have you know ties to Gabriel's on the Post Road in Orange. Um, so they've, you know, I've just grown up in it and uh, worked at a whole bunch of restaurants my whole life. You know, picked up a lot of stuff from a lot of people and uh, just decided it was eventually time to uh, go off, you know, on my own and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, show what I've learned to, you know, the public and everything. Gotcha. So where are you getting your menu ideas for your pizza? Because I, what you are creating here is not your typical sausage, pepper, and onion pizza. Yeah. So I, I just wanted to do, a lot of places have like one or two specialty pizzas and they don't really like highlight them very well. And, you know, I just wanted to do something different. You know, we do make, you know, we're introducing the New Haven style pizza. It's very good, very traditional. Um, but then we also have all of that different stuff that I feel like this area is missing mm -hmm. where you can't really get, you know, vodka sauce and Alfredo and chicken call it and bacon all on, you know, one pizza, you know, so it, it makes it to please a lot of different styles of people that like a lot of different kind of pizza. So we do have the thin crust New Haven style, which you can get any of the specialty pies as that, mm -hmm. but we do the style of the, the squares. It's a little bit thicker. Um, okay. because it does need to hold up all of those toppings and all the toppings are really premium quality and we're not we're not shy with them so yeah. you know we need we need that good base to be able to hold up you know gotcha. everything that you're putting on it um, and how did you find this location here in West Haven I mean why are you in West Haven and not somewhere else well, I grew up in Orange okay. um, probably about 10 minutes away from here so I was obviously very familiar with the area and uh, when I heard that you know the previous place full circle was uh you know leaving um bob downstairs at the uh woodlawn duck pen was reaching out trying to find someone to come in here and you know bring a pizza spot to this area and we i've been looking at places for a long time and passed on a bunch of different opportunities and i saw this spot and i just decided to go for it good for you congratulations yeah. it's Thanks. not easy to get into this yeah I mean, especially a restaurant it's not an easy business to be in but I, I, by the looks of things and the taste of things i think you're going to do great thank you um, so uh, how how do you think the chamber can help you in your business i think it's a great way to get people that don't know exactly what you're doing through the door Right. and also help out other people in it. So we obviously have a very large room here. Um, so any events or meetings or stuff like that, we can also, you know, give to them. Okay. And, you know, I've already met like a whole bunch of people at the ribbon cutting that would be beneficial for this business. So it's nice to meet other business owners in this area that are able to kind of get you away from like those major corporations and you're able to stay local and then also give local, you know? Nice, nice. That's exactly what we're here to do is try and connect businesses exactly. to businesses. And I mean, if I had a baseball team and it was Saturday afternoon, this is probably where I'd take them after the win. Yeah. You know, if you lose, you probably don't get this, yeah. but you know, <laughs> this is a winner's place. We've been so. booking a lot of parties, sports teams, kids parties, um, even like sports teams, their coaches, their meetings, their staff, and stuff like that. So okay. it's an affordable um, and really beautiful space for people to come in and, uh, you know, use, use a large, pretty large space. It holds 90 people, so. 90 people, okay. Yeah, so that's your whole team and yeah. the equipment manager. Yeah, that's that awesome. Goal. <laughs> good, good. All right, well, um, thank you very much, and, and good luck on your opening. Thank I you. I appreciate everything you're doing here, and uh, let's say goodbye. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.